Hey folks, it's Billy D. K. Y. the truth seeker that simplifies and demystifies. This is going to be how to pick a mate using the principles of following the way of growth. And this is going to be a new series I'm going to be starting where I actually apply those nine principles to different problems in life to show that these principles work everywhere. These are universal principles of success or growth or however you want to look at it. So we're going to use these principles on how to pick a mate. Let's start off with the first principle of baby steps. Basically, if you want to apply this to picking a mate, what you do is, you know, when you first see a girl, you're first ecstatic just to see her, just the, the look of her, just to be around her is enough. You know, it's enough. Then, you progress to where you're actually touching her. Oh, you're, you're just excited to be holding her hand. Oh, it's amazing just to hold her hand. And then you, you just progress baby steps. You don't jump right into having sex the first time you meet her. You, you made a baby step violation. So, again, if you want to use the baby steps in picking a mate, you have to just take one little baby step at a time. Enjoy each step along the way. It really allows the bond between you to grow tight. And you're building something strong that won't be easily tore down. Plus, it gives you time to evaluate, is this the right person? You know, maybe you go five steps, you're like, ugh, this, this person's not going to work out for me. And then you, haven't, you, then you don't have all the baggage of maybe going too far. Okay, next step, applying yourself. Well, you actually have to apply these principles if you want the value from them. So, you know, you've actually got to apply the baby steps. You can't just be a theory, oh, I'm, I believe in baby steps. Let's go have sex first time we meet. you got to actually apply it. So, I mean, it's pretty obvious, but it needs to be said anyway. Discipline. You need to discipline your actions in regards to picking a mate. You need to be honest with yourself. You need to discipline yourself to apply baby steps. Attention. You need to really pay attention to what the girl's doing. You know, not take the rose-colored glass off and really pay attention to her. Pay attention to what she's doing. Don't get caught up in the mentality that it has to be. It's a soulmate. It has to be. No, it doesn't have to be. It can be with somebody else. Pay attention to what's really going on, who, how her actions really are. Everything about her. Pay attention. Question everything. You Like, you see a girl and you know you got a soulmate connection. And, and I've had this problem numerous times saying, well, it's a soulmate connection. It has to be. And I'm already sold. Where's, get, where's my wallet? I'm buying it. No, see, that's not what you want to do. Yes, you can say, oh, that is, we do have a soulmate connection, but you still have to question, is this still the right person for me? You still got to question all her behaviors. You don't give somebody a free pass just because they have something that you desire or want, that connection. Again, apply these principles. You will succeed in picking an awesome mate for you. Know your teacher, reality. Pay attention to the reality of the relationship. Let's say again, it's a soulmate connection. Oh, but your relationship is going horrible all the time. You say, this is a soulmate. It'll get better. No. Pay attention to what's really going on. Not what's going on in your head, but what's going on in reality. Pay attention to that. Who cares what's going on in your head? Drop all that stuff. Pay attention to the real relationship that you have. Not the desire for a soulmate she may be fulfilling. Or some desire for other body parts or this or that. And again, you do have more than one soulmate. If you don't believe me, go read the or go look at the other video I have on how. Uh, can't remember what it is. It's soulmate something. You go check it out. How many soulmates do you have or something like that? Next principle applied to picking a mate: Know your enemies. And they, your enemies are ego and pleasure. Again, when you think something has to be a certain way and you're hard-headed about it, that's ego. Or you, when some girl's playing you on your ego, say you have some mentality that you don't even aware that you're holding, then this girl can see it on you and she plays it. That's using your ego in a bad. She's using your ego in a bad way. Or you're wanting to have sex. If when you're wanting to have sex and that's all you're thinking about, you're you're being drawn into a relationship that's probably not going to go very far for you, and it's going to cause you a lot of problems. So you need to get your ego out of the picture. You need to get pleasure out of the picture. You need to follow the principles together to achieve picking an awesome mate, an awesome mate for you. Seek harmony and peace. You want to find a woman who helps you achieve harmony in life. That you together, y'all, create a harmony that's better than it was without. 
each other. Not only do you seek harmony together, but you have a peaceful relationship. It's a harmonious, peaceful thing. If it's a chaotic, drama-ridden relationship, from the beginning, it's probably going to get worse. And, and if it does get to where you're not drama stuff, you may just, just be in a state of just misery. You know what I mean? So seek harmony and peace in that relationship from the beginning. If you can't achieve it at the beginning, just drop it. You know, don't don't fight it. Don't fight reality. Probably ain't supposed to be together. No matter what your ego says. Simplicity. Pick a simple girl. Don't pick some complicated drama. Hollywood driven kind of girl. Pick some simple girl that you can really live your life with and you will be much better off. If a woman's complicated, leave her alone. Let some other guy pick that mess up. Pick you a simple girl. Simple girl. And I ain't saying stupid, I'm saying simple. Big difference. So, anyway, th again, this is going to be a new video series I'm doing where I'm going to actually be applying those nine principles from the blog to things that we do every day and show you the real power and the universal power of those nine principles in dealing with real life. So anyway, if you wouldn't mind rating, and until next time, later folks.